pre-soft or tastes good. Hey there! I hope your week started well enough, right? Uh, so I have read this comment, it says Linux will never take off in desktop realm, it's much too dispersed and fractured. In my opinion, flat hub is a good thing, life shows that you can't be the best and in the same time multilateral. Stop dreaming about Linux growth, will never happen under present circumstances. Fedora user here. Okay, so w what is the takeaway from this message? Uh, it is not about the replies to my videos, it is uh, about the general message, right? So a lot of people have this kind of opinion, right, about uh, the growth of Linux desktop, the year of Linux desktop. Uh, it will never happen, this is the year of Linux desktop, it will never, you know, it, it goes on and it goes on. And in my opinion, it doesn't really need to happen, you know, just think about it. What is Linux? The, the, when, when you see uh, some statistics on the internet, of course, the, most of the um, Linux uh, distributions are not tracking their uh, customers. Show, so we don't really know how many Linux desktop users are out there. But let's say we are somewhere roughly at 3%. It doesn't even matter if it's 2 or 4. Let's put it up to 3. So what is 3%? Is it enough? Is it too little? Is it too much? What, what do you expect? What do you gain from having more people joining the Linux ecosystem as users? As users. Beware what I'm saying. As users. And what do we get from maybe uh, having only 3% of people who are actively contributing back? Because what is free software? Free software is about uh, spinning in circles, right? You use a software, you contribute back, and then the other guy uh, is using what you contribute, and then, they, then they contribute back. It's not about just programming, it's about uh, spreading the message, this is contributing, uh, it's about paying the money, you know, for, for developers. If you're using free software, I always say that you should pay for it if you can. If there is a donation button, just click it. I mean, maybe uh, a lot of you guys are, are poor and you cannot afford it but then again uh, you might be able to spread a message you might be able to download a distribution to your usb stick and install it to a friend's uh, computer uh, and help them learn it grow into it uh, this is contributing this definitely is contributing and it's free for you you don't have to give the actual money if you do have money just give it to some of your uh, some of your favorite uh, free software creators i mean they, they're saying the that linux is never uh, going to grow beyond the what we are currently at right um, but but is linux actually important i mean free software is free software we can use free software on windows as well i for for the whole of my life i have been using free software on various operating systems uh, windows as well uh, and th this is kind of um, natural for me. I like using free software. I like to be involved in it. I have started learning programming. I want to contribute back. I did contribute back to some of the uh, free software projects on GitHub. Uh, and I want to contribute more. But, you know, it, it requires some effort. It requires some effort to learn programming. Uh, and it might not be very easy in the beginning, but later, uh, when you do something, when you, um, you know, when you make your first pull request and when it gets accepted, it's such a nice feeling, nice and warm and fuzzy feeling. The way I think things should function, right? It, it's not about Linux kernel. We, you have FreeBSD, you have OpenBSD, you have various free software kernels that you can use uh, in conjunction with all of your favorite free software uh, and speaking of uh, free software in different kernels, um, systemd is making a little bit of a mess here because you can't really use it on other operating system. But oh, okay, let's let's put that aside for now. Uh, what I want you to think is about what free software is to you and how do you 
imagine that this should be working, right? If we would grow beyond like 10%, let, let's say that we grow to 15% of desktop use and 3% uh, is like contributors and the rest is just leeches. And I did use the word leeches because not that I want to say that these people are not valuable because they will eventually report some of their... Um, problems with the software developers will acknowledge it and improve on their software uh, let's call them beta testers the beta testers are also contributing so um, I don't know I don't feel like we need too much users I mean I'm not stopping anyone from using it uh, in fact I want as many people as we can get into our community of free software and I myself have been doing this for my whole life I help people to get into it if they don't feel like it then there's nothing I can do about it I don't want to annoy people but if they do ask my help I am always glad to provide my help so this is how it is I'm gonna see you in the next video